What's up guys, welcome to part 3 of our Python basics tutorial. In this tutorial I will talk about Python print function. So there are hardly any computer programs and of course hardly any Python programs which don't communicate with the outside world. On a computer all programs has to de deliver its result in some or another way. One form of output goes to the standard output by using the print statement in Python. Print function in Python is a function that outputs to your console window whatever you want to print out. It is actually one of the most widely used functions in all of Python, the same as in other languages. The main reason to use is that it's a great debugging tool. On, in other words talking, it's a great tool to find, remove and fi fix errors made within code. Using Python print function, it prints the given object to the standard output device, it means screen, or to our text file if, if we change this. So, original syntax of print function looks all like this. We can change object, the separator between the words, uh, and separa separator, it's right now the enter, the screen or file output, and the flash by the, which default is false. Actually, we also can print all this line, but we would need to import the C's, import C's and change this because we can't print with them. And if we press print, we now have object, but we don't we won't use it for now. So let's move forward. So now I'll show you the basic example how we use print function. So we write a simple line with single quotes, you use print with single quotes and we build it and we receive the single quotes of course. We can use the same function with double quotes. And as you see we receive the same result in two lines. And also, we can use the default syntax, for example, if we write like this, so um, a, write a equal, our value will be a, separator will be, we'll use the lower line, and parameter would be, we'll use double, double space, double, new line. So we build it and we receive the result a is equal to 1 with the separator of lower line and one new line additional. Also we can add one more this without new lines and as you can see we received the result but we after the result, after receiving the result, the it doesn't press the enter. But sometimes we want to write, uh, for example, for for example, using print function with single quotes, and we like to write yeah, word can. Uh, write like this. As you can see, it doesn't allow us to write word like this. It will receive the error. Uh, in this case, we we need to use double quotes, so it will be like this. Only then we can write word like this. Uh, or we can use single quotes and you will be able to write sentence like this. But instead of this, we will use uh, escape character. So everything wor works just fine. Now I will show you another example how to use print functions if you would like to print something to file. So we use source file for example is equals to open python text file for example 
if uh, this file doesn't exist, we, this file will be will be created. Open it in writing mode. Sure. So what will print? So we'll print something like we are printing something to text file and our file is equals to source file after this line we close our source file if you forget to close it it there might be some problems with it so we save it and build you should see it doesn't write anything here but on the desktop we can write what what we wrote oh i made this mistake well doesn't matter the idea doesn't change so that's it with the v6 tutorial of print if you liked my tutorial smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel this will help me to grow and make new tutorials so text version of this tutorial and links are left in video subscription if you have any questions leave them in text box below see you in the next tutorial